Uh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Darcia. So first and foremost, I want to just address something. I am sick AF. I haven't been this sick in over a year. I don't know what I know what happened. Bay got sick because he never listens to me and he doesn't wear his coat. And he got sick and obviously we sleep in the same bed. We share literally everything. It was inevitable for me to get sick which sucks because i think i got i got it worse than him even if i'm a lot less whiny than him um i had a fever yesterday and stuff i didn't touch my computer all day i got tired of it because i've been sick for a while like for about three days but yesterday was that shit was coming for me you know so i still sound like stuffy i'm still coughing but i really wanted to film this for you guys so this is a try on haul it is like a different type of a haul because it's an accumulation of stuff that i bought and i got one thing in the mail that i wanted to show you guys and i got tons of shoes because i've been obsessed with sneakers lately sneakers is a really deep love that i have so you guys do not know this i will do a sneaker collection but i'm really big on kicks my size is hard to find but when i do find I buy honey I buy and there's clothes there's sneakers there's all kinds of stuff so if you guys want to see what I got just keep watching so I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing not this cardigan because I do have a try on haul that's already up from pretty little thing and it's this huge cardigan but I am wearing this jumpsuit from um, house of CB I spent a lot on these because in Canadian it's really expensive I do think they're worth the money is a jumpsuit worth all of that money no house of cb quality is top tier quality when it comes to clothes i've never worked with them i do want to work with them so bad i don't know they haven't reached out to me yet but i do love their cozy stuff all of their stuff their dresses notorious for their dresses so i bought this gray jumpsuit it's like a like it has a corset and it has a zipper in the back you guys will see a full view of me wearing it but i love this jumpsuit i wear it with heels i wear it with air force ones i wear it with all kinds of stuff so i really really like this jumpsuit i picked it up in this color first so this is the beige color that i picked up um beforehand because this one's on sale and this one wasn't so i was like you know what get the one that's on sale see how you like it and then if you do like it and you love it get the gray because i did know i would wear the gray a lot more but i do love this color also so it is a um, luxury type of clothing which I don't usually buy I usually buy either like really like hype beast like streetwear stuff or I buy things from like Fashion Nova or Pretty Little Thing they do come in these sick boxes I had to keep them because they're so cute obviously when I'm gonna have like tons of House of CB stuff I won't be keeping all of them but they come in these nice boxes you have your bill and stuff in it it's really 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 luxurious i think they're worth the money i think they're very pricey you do have to pay duties but you know i want to like i don't know i can't really say i want to spoil myself because i do spoil myself all the time i don't really have an excuse it's just i've been wanting them since they came out and i was like you know what chill out wait fashion nova's gonna come up with a dupe pretty little thing's gonna come up with a dupe and they never did so I was like, screw it, I'm gonna buy it and I'm definitely gonna pick it up in black. I just really like how structured this is. Like I've worn this exact outfit with some nude pumps and my Louis Vuitton clutch to dinners or like with Air Force One, just going shopping with a crossbody bag. Very cute, I really like them. All right, next I have um, a purse. I do have a couple bags. I got this bag in the mail from Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake is a designer. How can I say this? They're like a luxury brand of purses and they came out with a python, a lizard, a crocodile. <coughs> I picked this one up. I've worked with them before on videos. They did send me this purse um, as a gift. I wanted to show it to you guys because it's so pretty. I will definitely be wearing this in the spring and summer. I could wear it now, but we do have to wear like big and bulky um, winter coats. So it's not really cute with a crossbody bag. They didn't have boxes at first. They had um, dust bags, which they still do. But now they have boxes, which is really exciting, and it comes with like a magnet. So I do keep all of my luxury bags, all of their boxes, if they do have a box. Because sometimes I buy things secondhand. And this is how it looks like designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. I picked this one up. I don't know the name by heart. Yeah, it doesn't say 
the name on the bag but this is how it looks like it's so pretty guys and it says teddy blake reminds me of the sac sac du jour by sac de, du jour or sac du jour from yves saint laurent it reminds me of that um i do have the bigger version of this bag from teddy blake also from my last what's in my bag tag and like <laughs> a year ago and if you guys want to see what I put in these little bags I've been obsessed with them very comparable to my Louis Vuitton um, Alma BB I can actually fit more in this than my Alma BB very spacious has tons of space comes with the dust bag which I love because all of my luxury purses have um, dust bags and it comes with the detachable the detachable strap which is really really nice I love this this is a beautiful purse can't wait to wear this thank god they have a box now i'm so excited to be wearing this bag this is a really cute color also comes in black which i really wanted but i have so many black bags that i thought that this one would be really cute thank you so much to teddy blake for sending me this purse i will link everything down below for you guys they also do have like sales and stuff if you guys want so make sure you guys check out the links down below next i have a bodysuit from h&m this mock neck bodysuit in white White. very cute it's a little too big for me I think I'm officially an extra small because I used to buy a lot of stuff in size one they used to fit me and then I started working out again and even if my size and my bum are like growing or whatever you want to call it or getting a little more toned and stuff my frame as a person is very petite so um, size small has become a little too big for me very nice it's ribbed and it's kind of like a cream it's not white it's cream I wish it was a thong but it was so inexpensive it was like $15 so 15 plus tax so I will be cutting it into a thong which is very exciting because I do this all the time with my bodysuits that aren't a thong so yeah just a plain white bodysuit I have stuff from Zara um, I don't shop at Zara as much as I should because like I mentioned before I do get clothes in the mail so buying clothes all the time too is kind of overwhelming so I pick up whatever I think is cute whatever I need first thing I have is this bag I actually paid ten dollars for this bag because you guys know they have their like semi annual sale when that happens in December and when that happens in like summer and the December one just ended it's finished like early February I picked up this bag because I do I do go on trips and stuff with Bay to like resorts and stuff and I wanted a bag that can just put everything like sunscreen body oil my you know the hotel card everything just fits in but that does give the look of like beachy vibes and like tropical vibes because let's be honest going to the beach with this doesn't really make sense when you can be wearing something like this this used to be 45 but i paid 10 dollars for it which was a bargain and i can't wait to wear this i do want to go to mexico this year so i've never been so i i usually i have been to cuba i've been to venezuela so i want to go to mexico this time and i think this is going to be great and i also wanted something that bay can carry without it being too girly i do have like a purse version of something like this and if you guys watched a Cuba vlog, um, he was holding my bag. He holds my bag all the time. He's very sweet. But I felt like this is a little more, like, you know, a little more masculine. He could just wear it like this, crossbody or something. And um, it's for me, but obviously he does wear my bag. So I think this is very cute. Next bag I bought is more of like a wallet on a chain. They had this last year and my nail tech, she has the yellow version and I remember seeing it on her and I was like, this is so cute. I found it at Marshalls or Winners or I think TJ Maxx is for the people in the States. So this was $12. Very cute. You can put your change and your money and you can put your cards over here. It's like a snake print I've been or like crocodile. And you can turn this into like um a fanny pack if you want to by like tying the chain around your waist or you can put it as a crossbody I really like this I, lo I love the color I do wish I got the gray one but it was so dirty it wasn't worth the money like it was broken so I decided to pick this one up and I'm really excited to wear it this summer I will be wearing it like as soon as the sun comes out and it starts like there won't be any snow I will be busting this bad boy out last but not least I bought this from Zara once again from the sales section it, it's a denim cropped jacket in a size medium it's in khaki I do have the same one in jean like a blue jean a denim color and I wear it all the time so I figured that like 
if I could wear this with like let's say this jumpsuit let me just put it on right now it's very big very oversized but just imagine like an outfit like this very casual or like a dress and wear this off the shoulder like this and some heels very cute it's very different because it's like a it's a warm khaki it's not like too dark or too cold like cool because there's different shades of khaki i really really like this i feel like this color it has like a yellow type of vibe i really really like this it's so cute this was only 25 bucks and you guys well in canada zara jackets or like a denim jacket could be like over 50 dollars 50 or more so that was a good price this is in a size medium and they had size small but i really wanted it to be like a big oversized jacket i have these two t-shirts which i've had for a while like a long time but i decided to show you guys where they're from because i get questions about these in my vlogs all the time these are some cole and terry t-shirts or notorious tees they are like dupes to your favorite designer t-shirts i don't know how they got licensed for them because they're all over the internet like it's clear that ysl have seen these t-shirts and they're aware of their existence so they probably have like a copyright or something like agreement with it but it says Yves Saint Laurent and it's like this this isn't like it being washed out and dirty because I wore it this is the actual color of the t-shirt I wear these all the time I think these are in a size medium I do wish I got a size large um because I really like them really big so next order I really want the Christian Dior ones so I'll buy two that are a size large instead and they have some for guys too if you want I also have the beige one which I love too I love wearing them with like gold jewelry I think they're so cute and so versatile you can like tie them in a knot and wear them as like a cute top or you can tuck them in jeans or you can wear them with biker shorts I just love them so much and I will link them down below all right next last but not least we have some shoes there's one two three four five six seven pairs of shoes that i bought in one month just a disclaimer guys i do spend a lot on shoes um i buy yeezys i buy jordans i buy stuff like that so if you guys are looking for affordable sneakers i'm not the person to come see because i love myself a nice luxury sneaker i love spending on sneakers and i do know my sneakers i've been i would i can call myself a sneakerhead. i don't own every pair but i do know my shoes so yeah so these are the air jordan ones mellow and they came out a long time ago okay a long time they came out a long time ago and i actually found them jesus christ i will this is what happens when you wear wigs i i can't believe I'm, every time i watch a sneaker haul or someone showing their sneakers and they put their hands under here it's disgusting and i'm doing it right now okay so these are the mellow ones and they are black and gold i actually got these on facebook market um something you guys need to check out are like depop facebook market um goat or stock x these are all like stores that sell sell pre-owned shoes facebook market obviously depending on your area it's going to be different i found these for a bargain if you guys see the price of this shoe on stock x or um facebook market they're like 300 dollars or more i got these for 75 dollars i actually checked if they're real and stuff um i do know how to do that you can look up online what to do to check out if a shoe's real these are in a 7y i was like you know what that's such a good price because they look really good i didn't even clean them yet i got these for 75 dollars canadian these sell for 300 dollars canadian 300 or more i got in a 7y i was like you know what screw it just put in a dr scholl's insole and just deal with it they're nice they're a great price who cares even bay was like just get them because it's such a good price but it turns out that they fit which is really odd because i i'm a 6y and not a 7y so i don't know i think that's really weird but i'm really happy with them they look great i i love this shoe i will link it down below obviously they won't be the same price because the person that sold them to me is just some random person on facebook market that i met up with but i will link them down below if you want next pair of shoes i bought for my mom i'm gonna show them to you guys because i really feel like you guys will find really good prices at the nike outlet if you have one in your city there's one in my city called there's two actually there's mirabel and there's um the rockland marche central and i bought these for my mom these black ones for her because she needed black workout shoes and she loves them because they're like socks and i think i paid them 40 dollars and they had a friends and family event where you had a 30 percent off so with tax i paid like 32 32 dollars 
they are so nice and sleek and black so i figured i'd show you guys make sure you guys check out your nike outlet to find some cute shoes i do feel like they have some really nice hype things sometimes if you're lucky but if you are looking for just a nice pair of sneakers to wear to the gym to work or whatever the nike outlet is definitely the place to go next pair of shoes isn't for me either that i purchased is for bay um these are the converse comme des garçons sneakers they look like so he's been wearing them non-stop whenever he has like a fancier event he'll wear them very very cute i have the white ones actually that he bought me two christmases ago which i love but i really want the black pair so these are very cute if you want to be like in the hype vibe and you want to have like something a little luxurious you know these are only $200, which sounds a lot, but for Comme des Garçons, for what they are, for the brand that they are, this is a pretty good price. And this is $200 Canadian, so if you're, in the, if you're from the States, it's probably like $150 or something affordable. So these are really nice. I really can't wait to, I can't wait to get them. As soon as they come back in stock, I will put them in my cart and order them. I get them from Essence or from Holt Renfrew. <coughs> and they come... They come with this really cute Comme des Garçons Converse play box, which is really, really nice. I have something that I talk about all the time on my channel. I had to buy a new pair. This is my third pair in a year. All white Air Forces. I don't have much to say about them. They are great. They, these are the... If you don't want... If you want to look cool, okay, and you don't know anything about sneakers, you just want a nice pair of cute white shoes, affordable, this is it. There's a reason why I mention these all the time. I went to the Rowdy Rich concert, I wore this jumpsuit, a crop denim jacket, hoops, and I wore these, and let me tell you, I looked fly sis, okay? These are like the one shoe that you can't go wrong with. You can wear this with dresses, jumpsuits, rompers, jeans, skirts. This is the one shoe that's going to go with everything. I absolutely love this shoe, like it's the best shoe in the world. So. If you guys hear me mentioning this shoe all the time on my channel, it's because they're affordable. I know you can get your hands on them all the time. They go back in stock regularly at Foot Locker or at Champs or whatever. So if I mention, if I know it's annoying people that do watch me, I've had a couple comments of people saying, she's always talking about Air Forces. It's like, do you want me to request a thousand dollar shoe or do you want me to request a hundred dollar shoe? You know, so. I try to be as affordable as I can on my channel, and this is the best way to be affordable. Next sneaker is a Air Jordan 1 that I picked up. These are in a 6Y, so all of my Air Jordan 1s are in a 6Y. These are the, what are they called? Shattered, bad bo <clears throat> Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1. I, at first when they first came out, I had a chance to buy them retail, which is $165 Canadian. $140 Canadian, sorry but i didn't and then i started seeing everyone on instagram with them rocking outfits because i was like bro this is halloweeny like what am i gonna do but now i love them and i can't i can't keep them off my feet i love them so much um they're very boyish but i don't know i love myself a nice air jordan one this is one of their best colorways yet one of my grails which is like a dream shoe is the reverse shadow bat boards which is like the white version it's like I'll enter the picture, but these are so expensive. They're like I think the the cheapest price in my size is like seven hundred dollars, and I could buy Balenciagas, you know, with the seven hundred dollars. With seven hundred dollars, so I'm still on the fence with purchasing those. Maybe one day, but I really, really like them. They're very cute. Next Air Jordan One. Um, I can't show you the other side because the girl that sold them to me and she's honestly. Something you guys need to know about sneakers is that boxes are very important. You cannot tape the box like this. I don't know who she thought, what was going on through her head. You're supposed to double the box. So you're supposed to be able to put this box in another box and ship it out. Because boxes are important for resale. Let's say I don't want the shoe anymore and I want to resale. The condition of the box counts in the price. So she put my address. She put, she put a bunch of tape on it. Disappointed, but I should have left her a shitty review because that... That's not cool. Comes with two pairs of laces. This is another shoe that I slept on and I could have paid retail, but I didn't. I paid $300 for these. I actually paid $300 for the reverse back, uh, the shattered backboards, and I paid $300 for these two. 
These are the turbo, please focus on the shoe. These are the turbo green Air Jordan 1s. These are fire, also in a 6Y, a 6 youth. At first I was like, I don't need this shoe because I already have the UNC Air Jordan 1s. We cool over here, I don't need them. And then I saw everybody with them, all of my favorite IG baddies wearing them and I was like, what was I thinking? This is the last time I'm going to be sleeping on a pair of sneakers that I like. Because I usually like them. I'm just like, uh, you don't need them. And then I end up paying more. I could have paid 100, 140. They range between 140 and 165 Canadian. I could have paid that. But no, I had to wait and be a good girl. Don't spend your money. And then pay $300, which makes no sense. Whatever. I'm cool with it. I love them. I already wore them on an Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I do wear other shoes in Air Force Ones but um yeah these are really nice very excited to rock these during the summer and spring like I mentioned before they come with two other colors of laces I don't really care for but it's cool to have if I want to do something weird I've seen people wear like two different colors of laces and stuff and it looked pretty cute so I'm happy with that but you guys know your girl is a basic biatch so I love myself my white laces Last pair of shoes is another pair of Air Force Ones. When I tell you I posted these on my Instagram and everybody was like, where did you get these? Guys, it's snowing. It's snowing. Like, um, it's like snowing a lot. Like, I just want spring. I'm, I'm so tired. I got these. I got so many compliments. Everybody's like, where'd you get these? It's another pair of Air Forces, except that the swoosh is red. Period sis and the uh, lace lock is not a lace lock But the little the little Air Force one logo over here is in gold which you guys know I love gold details so excited to wear these it's like a raspberry red. It's not like a true Red these were 120. I found them at Simon's so Yeah, also I saw that they came out with like a pastel yellow highlight color. I might pick those up I shouldn't but I might all right, everyone, that is it for the video. Sorry that I'm so sick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to go take a spoon of cough syrup and lay down and edit because I'm done talking for the day. I am going to lose my voice for sure. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Like, so much. None of this stuff that I buy myself. I don't buy myself clothes and shoes all the time. But without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So grateful for you guys. You guys are the best subscribers in the world, best views in the world. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and follow me on IG if you guys want to see me rock these fits. And anyways, bye! <laughs> I can tell that you've been feeling tired for ways. Ever since that I've been rocking with you, I can tell that you're unhappy with your man. Cause he don't hold it down like I